Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine. This used to be my highest requested video back when I was posting eight months ago. So I thought I would do an updated one for you guys because I've changed a lot over the past few months. So let's get started. So I'm going to be starting off with some setting spray. For me, literally any setting spray works. It's all the same for me. Yeah. And then I have this little mini fan that I like to use to kind of make everything dry. So then I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. I love this stuff because it makes me look like sun-kissed and bronze. And it's just now getting into spring, so my face is so pale. Also, this is a really great primer. My skin is so sensitive that it literally gets red as soon as I put stuff on it, just because I'm rubbing it with my hands, so we're gonna ignore that. So for my foundation, I don't really know what to call it because I mix three different products. So first is the MAC Studio Fix Everyday Wear. It's like a concealer pen. Um, and it's all liquid, so it just comes out. Yeah. Um, and then the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. This primer is literally the best. I can't do my makeup if I don't have this primer because it just makes such a smooth base for everything to go on. And then the Tarte Maracuja. Mar Maracuja? Maracuja. Maracuja. Tinted Hydrator. Um, this shade is a little bit dark for me, so and this shade is too light for me, so I mix them. I mix them all in this little container and then I just apply it with a brush. So I just put it on like that. SZA released Saturn and it's literally so amazing. I'm obsessed with that song. I just listened to it for the first time yesterday and I'm obsessed. So it's like one of my favorite songs now. But then I'm gonna go in with this giant beauty blender spray it with my primer i mean my what is that called setting spray lol and then i'm gonna just blend everything in okay so now that i'm done with that i'm gonna do my concealer this is the best concealer it is the tarte shape tape this one's ultra creamy but i don't see the difference between the regular and the creamy one but oh so good and a little really goes a long way like i literally just do one little dot on my chin and that's gonna be for my whole face so just kind of put it anywhere that i want some coverage my face is breaking out right now lol but it's okay so then i just blend it with my finger i tend to keep my makeup pretty light and natural because i just don't think heavy makeup looks really good on my face personally so i just always keep it natural and i'm gonna blend it with my beauty blender I'm gonna go in with my solar paint bronzer in the shade flare and what I do so I'm gonna start with my nose I like to use bronzer to contour my nose so I just use this little this is an eyebrow brush but I just kind of follow the shape of my nose and go right here I'm gonna use a little brush to blend that out. I feel like it just kind of gives a little bit of shape to my face. Then I'm gonna put a tiny bit on my forehead. I just do like three dots. Okay, so you can kind of see that just gave me a little bit of color. And then I think I wanna do some on my temples. I literally don't know how to do bronzer also like literally just winging it right now we'll bring it down there to just even everything out and i'm gonna get my she glam blush do you see this bro like what i'm literally obsessed with this blush but it leaks everywhere it is so bad i don't know what is going on but i think i'm gonna get the rare beauty blush because i've heard that this is a dupe for that i could be wrong but it's almost empty anyway, so I might just go ahead and get the Rare Beauty blush. Because I used to never use liquid blush. And then I decided I would try out this brand. 
I love it. It just looks so natural and like glowy. I really need to go to the mall so I can go to Sephora and get some Rare Beauty blush. And I really want to smell the Sol de Janeiro scents. I've actually never smelled them before. Um, but I'm very curious because I really want to get them just because people say that they last all day. And I still haven't found a perfume that lasts all day. But I don't want to just buy it and then have it smell disgusting. I'm going to go in with my She Glam Liquid Highlighter. It's so pretty. Like... It is gorgeous. But I'm just going to do a little bit. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh. Blend that out. This is not my favorite liquid highlighter. I actually don't usually use liquid highlighters. But I haven't really found one that I really love. So I'm going to keep looking. If you guys have any recommendations for a really good glowy highlighter, please let me know. Okay, then we're gonna put it on my nose. Blend that out. So then I'm gonna go in with my Dior Rosy Glow Blush and I'm gonna just go on top of my liquid blush and highlighter because I feel like it sets it in really nicely. Kind of mattifies it. Just makes everything come together. So I'm gonna do my lashes. I have this little mirror I'm gonna use to start with the Sky High Base and I'm about to look so weird doing this, but people ask me all the time how I do my lashes, so I have to show you guys. Okay, so basically, I just go like this and then just wiggle it and go up. I just do that a couple times until they're fully coated. So once I've done the base, I'm gonna go in with the regular Sky High. Just do the same thing. So, I don't really do eyeshadow. I usually just do some type of glitter. I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Little Twin Stars palette. And I really like the gold one right here. Okay, so then for my eyebrows, I don't really do anything crazy. But I'm going to go in with the Glossier Boy Brow. Just to keep them in place. Then, I'm going to hydrate them with my Mario Badescu Lip Balm. And then I'm gonna go in with this lip balm. This is actually a custom lip balm that I made at Lip Lab. It's a very natural color. And then let's top it off with my Kapari lip gloss. Okay guys, this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to comment and like and maybe even subscribe. Join our little family and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!